Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to what I hope is going to be a fun video but also is definitely different from what I normally do. So if you have a TikTok or an Instagram, um, you probably have seen this trend show up and if you don't, I still hope you will think this is funny um, but I'm hoping this will be like a quick rapid fire recommendations video as well as with some video some books that I don't like so much um, but done in a humorous way where I'm not ranting about the books believe me a couple of these I've already ranted about and that's done now it's time to have some fun so this trend that I'm talking about showed up and it was these videos where people are saying like he's a 10 or she's a 10 but and then they say something like really horrible about them or just funny and then the person rating it would say back like um, if they're still a 10 or maybe they're like they're a 20 because they do this thing or maybe they're now a 2 you know so let's say he's a 10 but he has mommy issues and you say well now he's a 3 you know or something like that um, and I'm not gonna be like answering these like I said I'm gonna try to do this in like a rapid-fire way um, and if this video ends up being really lame well whatever we'll see but again I'm hoping that it's fun um, I also had put some question cards up on my Instagram to kind of get some ideas from you guys so some of you had filled it out and you gave me ideas of things for like he's a 10 but or the other way we're like he's a five but he's a great cuddler so is he like an eight you know so I have I think that I have about 20 plus books that I'm gonna be like holding up while I do these so what I'm planning to do is kind of like cut these all together too so it's kind of like I said like a rapid fire thing so what I'm going to do is I'll have all of the books listed down below that I'm gonna be showing so if you you know miss some of these you'll be able to see but like I said I'm probably gonna go through these pretty quickly because I wanted it to be snappy like that okay so let's go ahead and dive in and like we'll see how this goes so um, I have He's a six, but he gave you your first orgasm in years and gets a gum out of your hair when some mean girls put it in. He's a 10, but he likes to fuck on the edge of sanity. He's a 10, but he flies into rages at the drop of the hat, and he's a spoiled little bitch boy who can't make up his mind and can't commit to anyone. He's a 10, but he's here to marry your niece. And alternatively, she's a 10, but she murdered her previous husband. That one works for both of the characters in this book. And he's a 6, but he's your perfect match and he's great with a rope he's a seven but he's your childhood rival and he's going to be teaching you pleasure in a way that you never expected he's a five but he gives a good grovel after he's kept you captive and made you into his baby girl He's a 10, but he has his ex living in the East Wing and his love child is there with both of you when you get married and move into his home. He's a six, but he makes you his bride and protects you from everyone who's been mean to you after you had been mistreated and assaulted previously. He's an eight, but he thinks you're a spy and, um, doesn't communicate very well <laughs> he's a six but he's your dead boyfriend's dad and he doesn't think he's good enough for you um, and you both are experimenting giving each other pleasure in your cabin alone in the woods very specific <laughs> very specific He's a five, but he manipulated a mafia boss into making you his bride and is willing to let you live your life however you want as long as you're in his bed while you do it. He's a 10, but he's your brother. I mean, adopted brother. And this one too. <laughs> he's a 10, but he's your boss that you had a one night stand with and he's extra grumpy. <laughs> 
oh yeah, um, this one as well. He's a 10, but he's your emotionally unavailable boss who's trying to use you to uh, make his company more successful. He's a five, but he's a wounded warrior and he's really great with your kid and helping you get over your sexual trauma. And he's a 10, but he's a serial killer. And this one too. Oh, and these ones as well. <laughs> that one's a little more popular than you guys. He's a 10, but he gets you pregnant from a one night stand and he's been your enemy for the last few months. And so uh, you don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> he's a 10, but he doesn't understand consent. And uh, it uh, is shameful how many of these that I could show you. <laughs> he's a 10, but you don't know his name, even after you've had really, really hot sex with him. And this one as well. <laughs> he's a 10. He's your fated mate, but he's rejected you. And finally, he's a 10, but he doesn't communicate very well. So yeah, tell me what you thought of this. I know it's different than what I normally do and it's a little bit goofy, but I thought it was fun. Um, I feel like this could be really fun as like a game to do, like on a live show, because someone can actually like be answering you back. And it's very interesting, some of, the, some of these that were put into my Instagram, because some of the things people did for he's a 10 but, um, for me would make him even higher than a 10 and I think for some people it would make him like a 1 and the same for some where like he's a 5 but I was like that's not enough for me you know that's not enough for me so anyway let me know um, which one of these you thought was the funniest tell me if you disagree with any of them which again like I'm not really telling you what my answer was for these um, so yeah, that would be very interesting to see. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, make sure you check out my links down below. I have both channel memberships and Patreon. I do make videos and read books full time. So if you'd like to support my uh, career here, have at it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.